doing an arrangement tonight. I am going to design a floral piece in this fabulous, oh, got all my greens here, in this fabulous piece, which is big. This is metal and it has yellow pears on it. I just love the shape of it. It has feet and it's a really nice size too. Let me see if I can, um, I'm gonna measure this for you so people could really have an understanding of the size. I know it helps too when you hold it because then you really, we all know I'm not too small. So you get an idea of how big it is. But I'm going to measure it for you. Let's see, it is approximately, because this bows out on the side, I wanna say 20 inches wide by eight inches deep and it is nine inches high so it really is a nice size i have hey doris how are you hey michelle how are you thanks so much for hopping on i so appreciate that and thank you for the shares I'm not supposed to say that s-h-a-r-e word on facebook but i appreciate it thank you michelle <laughs> Um, anyway, I had chosen my flowers. I feel like I've done a lot of yellow lately, but again, this screamed for it. I found this on one of my hunts one day and I've had it sitting here for a long time and I haven't done anything with it yet. I already have this prepped with, I know that you've seen me do before the, um, the gaps and cracks spray as opposed to using the floral foam. There are certain things that I use the floral foam on. I don't like using it in big things like this because you have to use a lot and you sort of have to make it fit in there. This, you spray it in and it just takes over the space that it's in. Plus that floral foam, it's really, I know I said that to you, Michelle, it's really not, um, it's not good to breathe that stuff in. And before I even realized that, a lot of times I'd be cutting it and I'm like, oh, I feel in my, lungs that I breathed that stuff in. Not good. Hey, Trey, how are you? Thanks, Michelle. That is a genius. And it's one of those things that if you're going to use this, you have to prepare first because you need to give this at least 24 hours to dry and it expands. So you would fill it up half of what you need and then it doubles in size within 24 hours. And then it's ready to go. It's the same thing, has the same consistency as like styrofoam. The flowers fit in it perfect. I have pulled florals here. I'm just gonna show you what I have pulled. So we are going with yellows and blues. I have great blue hydrangea here that I've been dying to use something in. And again, because of this container, I said I'm going to go with yellow and blue. I think it's so summery. Um, I think a lot of people have those colors, so it will, it will go. You can use this outside on a porch, a deck, inside on a dining room table, a kitchen table, a kitchen island. There's so many uses for this. Yes, it definitely doubles in size. I've had, I don't remember what kind of containers they were at the time, but I did some where it actually exploded out the bottom, which wasn't good. I think they were like um, cardboard containers and it can sometimes just go crazy on you. But I love this stuff. It's inexpensive, it goes far, you just have to plan ahead. I normally don't do arrangements this big. This took more than a can, actually. Um, I usually do smaller arrangements, so I have them all lined up to do a few before I start, so I know that I can use the whole can. Because that's the other thing, once you open the can, you can't, you can't use it at a later time. You have to use the whole thing at once because it dries up in the nozzle. So you've got to do it one, two, three. I'm cutting my hydrangeas here because this is going to be what I am going to start with. I'm going to go with my blues and I am going to fill in with my greens. 
And you can see I cut the blooms off and then I have leaves left over. I will use every bit of this. So I cut my leaves as well. Oh shoot, I forgot to plug in my, oh, I forgot to plug in my glue gun. That takes a few minutes to heat up. I just ran in, we went out, <laughs> we went out to eat quick. And I said, okay, I'm gonna go live. That's how I make myself go live. It's good when I put a post out there, not only to let all of you know, but to keep myself in check. Because many times you'll say, oh, I went out, I'm tired now, I feel like laying down, I've been working all day. So once I put a post out there, I can't, I can't not show up. So here I am. I ran in, hurry up, set up the camera, and the camera's like really far away from me. So I have my computer here so I can see comments should they come in. How's the lighting? Can you see? Can you see this? Once I start, I want to make sure that you see this. I may have to put the camera down a little bit, which means I won't be in it, but you'll hear my voice. I just want you to see the project as I work on it. I am doing a claim it while I make it. So if anyone is interested in purchasing, send me a message. Um, and I will be happy to get back to you on that. If it doesn't go, this is going to the store at the end of the week. I have so many projects I'm in the middle of. And they're all going to the store by the end of the week. Today was a day for floral arrangements. I don't know if any of you have seen the, um, the post that I put out there with the candlestick arrangements. I love them. That's like my favorite thing to work on. I absolutely love. I'm going to show you them while I'm, while I'm on here. Talk amongst yourselves. Still pictures, even though I try and take nice pictures, they're never, I don't know. When you can see it and really get an idea for size, these are so pretty and full and lush, and I love the ribbons. This can go from summer all the way through to fall with the, um, the sunflowers and the black and white bow in there. I absolutely love it. Yellow is just such a happy color. And I've had so many requests for yellow this year. And these, I found these great candlesticks. I have two of each of these. This I did in the Patriotic. I know it's the time of the year, but Patriotic has been especially popular this year. All of my Patriotic wreaths have sold out. I was thinking I have a few more red, white, and blue florals. I'm thinking, should I make a couple more? I'm not sure, but I think just because of the situation that we are in, that people are not feeling terrific about this country. They're trying to show their patriotism. So these have been just so popular. But anyway, I wanted to hold them and show them to you so you can really get an idea of size and how lush they are with the florals. Exactly, bigger than you think. Thanks, Trey. Uh, I don't know how many projects, <laughs> it depends what what I have going on. I did quite a few signs this week. I did porch signs. Um, I did floral arrangements, the wreaths, and I try and divide it between home decor items and wreaths. Let me just put these on the side because, you know, I don't have a lot of space here. So I never have a particular um, number of items that I do, but I like to make sure that my space at the store is full. And so far, God, I look like a hot mess. Don't look at me. All right. This, oh, you know what I'm going to do first? I am going to put some of this Spanish moss in just to cover up my foam. Makes it look finished. So if you see down to the bottom, you're seeing green, which is fine. Looks natural. And I just lay it on top. I'm not gluing this in or anything because by the time that I start to insert the flowers, it will keep it there. Well, I need another bag of this. I'm running out. 
So yeah, that just finishes it off. Yes, Doris, I loved those Easter bunnies too. They were one of my favorites. I believe they were green candlesticks, weren't they, with the bunnies on top? I loved those. I hope you got compliments on them. Okay, I'm going to, my glue gun is hot. I'm gonna put in my hydrangeas and start my colors. You know what, how many do I have? I have four. I don't even know if I need four, we'll see. I might just do three down the center. Is everybody already relaxing at this time? This is usually later than I go live. Yes, they were green. Oh, I'm glad that you got compliments on those doors. They were pretty. They make great centerpieces. And I just love them because they're elevated as opposed to doing a floral arrangement in a flat vase. You know what? See, and I change my mind as I go. I'm gonna put four in here. So I'm moving this over a little bit. And as I pull flowers, I may change my mind. I never know what I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna to add to it, if I use everything that I pull. I sort of just let it speak to me. Such a pretty color blue, and I am typically not a blue person, but blue and yellow is just gorgeous together. And I am going to surround these with sunflowers. A really happy piece. I'm going to fill it in with greens. Get this going nice and lush. Even though there's pears on this, I was going with the color more than I was. Um... Oh, I lost the handle to my clippers. More than what the actual fruit was. I'll put my glue in. And I'm going to keep turning this so I can get both sides. And then you can see the sides that I'm on the side that I'm working on. Oh, you're just eating dinner now, Michelle. You and I are on different time um, time zones. You are three hours behind me. So it's only six o'clock there, right? I always have to remind myself of that. I used to have a very good friend. I worked for a company that was a nationwide company. So we had, of which I was a salesperson for. Um, and we had the salespeople all around the country. And I was very friendly with the girl in California. Her and I would be on the phone all the time. But I'd always have to remember that there was a time time difference. I'd get to work in the morning and it'd be something I want to tell her. And I'm like, oh, I can't even call her yet. She's not even up yet. I used to get frustrated. <laughs> I have other yellow flowers here too that I'm going to add in. Barely after six now. Yes. Oh, and you're having a glass of wine. I, I had to find a new drink. I had a cocktail when we went out to dinner. And I like my wine, but I like my beer too. I gotta lay off the beer. I, I gotta start losing weight. And I'm like, all right, what kind of cocktail can I have that, you know, it's easy to make things at home sometimes, but if we go out, I never know what to say that I want. And this place is a local place that we frequent. So I was picking the bartender's <clears throat> brain and saying I want something. So she made me Tito's, a splash of 
lemonade, so very little, and salsa, because I'm not a salsa person. Like, I don't just like vodka and salsa. To me, that's like, oh, I need a little bit of sweetness. So that's little dash of lemonade. I mean, really, it had, like, no color. But, oh, is that refreshing with, yeah, with lemons in it? It was so good. Well, vodka soda is the lowest in calories, but, but what? <laughs> hey, Marie, how are you? That's what I was looking for, a low calorie. And, you know, I have two drinks. And I also order a water with it. So it's like I'm drinking a drink. I'm also drinking water. Um... I just got to lay off the calories, seriously. It's bad. So now I have to, I'm going to buy that, um, what do you call that lemonade, the, the powder mix that you make the lemonade that has no calories? I've lost the leaf. Um, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway. I'm going to get that, have that on hand. You can always have a picture of that made. Have salsa. I always have vodka. <laughs> I like a whiskey ginger with lime. Whiskey and ginger ale. <gasps> that sounds hardcore, Michelle. I'm a little surprised. Threw me for a loop there. I used to love whiskey sours. See, I like sweet. That's my problem, and it's the calories. And then I went from whiskey sours to vodka sours. And you can only drink so much of that because it's just so sweet and tart. Like, it gets to you after a while. So I needed something that wasn't so sweet and didn't have all the calories. Whiskey and ginger. The thing that I drink with ginger beer is a... Um, Oh, that's with the vodka too. With the Moscow Mule, which I love. They are good. 4C iced tea mix. Nope. It has no... Crystal Light. Yes, Marie. That's it. Love Crystal Light. And you could get the regular lemonade or the pink lemonade. So that, just a splash of it in with the vodka. And then add salsa, lots of ice, and lemon slices. It's just... Very refreshing. What do you think so far? See how quickly it fills up? The whiskey ginger with lime is sweet and sour. I love margaritas too for the... Oh, I love margaritas too. Love me some margaritas. It's making me think when I made a post one day, ask, I don't remember how I worded it, asking people who never met me in person, what they knew about me. <laughs> and they all said, you love wine or you love to drink or something like that. I promise I don't have a drinking problem, but I do like to have my cocktails. <laughs> my husband and I are empty nesters. We go out a lot. So if we're out, I'm definitely having a cocktail. All right, I'm going to start adding some of these now. We got white going in there. Did you ever have a Moscow Mule, Michelle? Those are fabulous. You have to make sure that you put enough um, lime juice in. When I first started making them and I wasn't experienced enough i did not add enough lime and that ginger beer like was burning my throat oh this is pretty with the white marie i heard i'm sorry to even bring it up but i heard that the rangers lost last night i also heard that they should have won I think the Mets lost too. Something terrible, like seven, seven nothing. That's awful.
Yes, they are delicious too. I like these little pops of white in here, which have yellow centers. And they sort of stand up higher than everything else. I love to achieve a more natural look when I, well, that's usually my goal is to make it look a little bit more natural, wispy, not so perfect in size. I'm gonna turn you around again. I'm gonna keep flipping. I don't have a Lazy Susan that's big enough for this to sit on. Otherwise that makes designing these things easier. Put in a few more yellow on this side. Beautiful ranunculus. color was just perfect. Okay, I'm going to get back to these now. I'm consoling myself by saying, well, at least they made it this far. <laughs> and you're watching college baseball and softball lately. My husband was watching the girls softball. My, my daughter was a softball player for years, so I have a love of watching the girls softball. And I'm sorry, Marie. And you're right, at least they came this far. But it's only one game lost, right? They're not done yet. Got to think positive. They're going to pull through. I'm consoling myself. Aw, what a sin. I just love how quickly these things fill up. Look how pretty that is. Now I want to start adding some greens again to get some wispiness going in here. You played softball too? I played <laughs> later in life. My children were young. I was on they called it an 18 and over team because I guess you just have to say 18 and over, but I would say I was in my thirties. How much fun we, I was not a great player by any stretch of the imagination, but boy, did we have fun. Some of the teams were very serious. I remember one of them was the bus driver team and they, <laughs> their jerseys were yellow. And I'd say to myself, oh, God, the bus drivers are here. I mean, they they were some serious players. I was there to have fun, not get hurt. I was so concerned about getting hurt. No, I never played with Kathy. Did Kathy play softball? I didn't know that. I didn't play with her. She would probably scare me, too. Sometimes it's tough getting it in that foam. Oh, you add the greens and that just makes such a difference. This would be so gorgeous on a long table or a coffee table. Women's League fun. I did that a few years in my 20s after college ball. It is a lot of fun. We gave the kids to the husbands and then they would take the kids to come watch us play keep score. They always had the cooler with them. It was a lot of fun. I'm not tall enough to see down in this. Now I want some greens hanging over the edge. I'm going to put some of these fern things in. Yes, it does remind me of a window box. That's the shape of it, Doris. So pretty. But imagine that on a long table. I love the greens hanging over the edge.
got, it started out being really nasty today. Then it got hot. I put this long sleeve shirt on thinking it, once the sun went down, it was gonna get a little cool. It was so hot at the restaurant because they had the doors open because they have outside seating as well. So no air conditioning on. And it's hot down here. It's usually cool down here. Whew. I'm getting old. Let's see. Put a few more of these in. I don't know if all of you were on when I mentioned the size of this. This is a generous size. This is 20 inches long by nine inches high by eight inches deep. So again, a nice size. I'm trying to put the greens in now that are gonna spill over the sides. As I said, this will be available if anybody is interested. The price on this is $75. Feel free to send me a message. Otherwise, this will be at the store the end of the week. This is the problem when you use a glue gun. You get glue strings all over the place. I'm going to put some of these greens in. Yes. That just softens it up when you start um, adding things that hang over the side. By the way, Michelle, I saw your post about your bathroom. It made me laugh when you were talking about the tile that you didn't like. But I gave my opinion. I mean, really, how many of us have things in our house that we're not thrilled with, but you can't afford to totally do it over. So you sort of got to, got to go with it and choose things that complement it. So it doesn't stick out as much. I even put some pictures in there. <laughs> I try and be a very active participant. I'm going to have these spilling over the side as well. These tags I try. No, not on TikTok, on your um your Facebook group. That post that you had just put well, I don't know when you actually posted it, but I just saw it when I got home. So I gave my suggestion. You were looking for suggestions. I can always come up with suggestions. Whether or not they're good remains to be seen, but I can always give suggestions. MVP. <laughs> Making me crack up. I told um, my daughter-in-law that because it was the end of the season for my grandson for baseball, which they had three rain outs. So now they're supposed to have a makeup game tomorrow, which it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. So I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but he really played so well. So I was teasing her. I says, he's going to get an MVP award. And she said, nope, everybody wins. Everybody gets a trophy. I get it for the little ones. And I agree with that. But there comes a time when you can't keep doing that because the first time they lose, they sort of don't know how, they don't know how to handle it. Not, life is not about winning all the time. Yeah, you certainly know about the rain outs, Michelle. Michelle is in Oregon. She has a lot of rain there. I couldn't take it. I love these wispy things. These are gonna stick out the top here. Turn this around. I'm 
picking up trophies for the t-ball on friday i agree though need to teach the kids to gracefully lose yes i get with t-ball you know it's kind of young they they really need to learn how to play the game like my grandson actually learned about the game this year so now that they know how to play you, you can't win all the time that should be what makes you want to improve or work harder or hustle I'm not into that everybody gets a trophy nonsense yeah gracefully lose not loose <laughs> oh that's funny and I think I am going to make a bow to go in this but I'm gonna ask suggestions because I'm almost full with this see how quick these go together Where am I putting this one I'm gonna put in a couple more of these See, I always have a hard time saying enough. It's also kind of not fair to the kids who work so hard to... Exactly, Marie. It's not fair to any of them. You're not helping the children who are just happy to get a trophy without working hard for it or without caring either way. And for the kids who work hard, it's not fair to them. I just, I don't know who came up with that idea, but I don't agree with it. Don't get me there giving me, giving my opinion. I'll be chased off the field. <laughs> Even at my grandson's game. All I do is cheer. I don't say anything. I cheer every single child on. A lot of them were just learning. It was fun. It was exciting. But I'm a loud cheerer. My husband would be like, you're so loud, shh. No, I'm not going to shh. I like being loud. What do you think? Let me put a few more of these on this end. Marie, you have no games to watch tonight, huh? Now, what I was thinking, and let me have no games tonight. You're tomorrow. Okay. I was thinking, you know me with my bows. Love my bows. I was thinking of doing a yellow and blue bow. This is a soft yellow with like a chambray. Should I do a bow hanging down? Or should I leave it as is? What do you think? Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. You know what? I'm going to put a few more of these in. See, I start looking at it and I start adding. Anybody have an opinion on bow or no bow? Bow or no bow? Choose the one without the 
ticket. I really need a new glue gun. Time for a new glue gun. Okay. I think I'm going to do a bow. I like bows. It sets it off. All right. You're the only one who answered, so I'm going to go with a bow. If we don't like it, I don't have to keep the bow on it. That's all. I'm going to go with a bow. So let's see. Go with a bow. It's going to be pretty blue and yellow. I keep saying I'm going to do a bow tutorial. I know in your group, Michelle, there were quite a few people who were interested in a bow tutorial. So I have to do that. I just have to find a way to get my camera angled perfectly so that they can see me and I go slow. <laughs> I'm gonna, that's all I did was make a regular bow, like tying your shoes and I hold it in between my fingers because this is wire edge driven, so I just scrunch it here. I hold it and I keep layering. So I did the blue, now I'm gonna do the yellow. I lay it there, I scrunch it. This, this is a two-sided ribbon. It doesn't matter what side you use, but if you have a one-sided ribbon, you'd have to twist it to make sure that you have the right side out at all times. So I make a loop, scrunch it, make a loop the other way and I just make sure that they're the same size. My tails, I like to leave longer than what I need. I can always cut those later. Oh. That's it. All I did was layer them on top of each other. I'm still holding it in the same place with my, two, my thumb and my first finger and I'm going to keep layering. I usually do anywhere between four and six ribbons. Yes, I have to do the bow tutorial. And there's many different, so this is just the, the, typically the bow that I use, but there's lots of different bows that you can do. Keep holding it with those two fingers, squinch it in the middle, cut it. Go back with the yellow, and I keep sort of doing that so I can figure out how full it's getting. And it fills up very quickly. Now I'm gonna go back with the yellow, lay it on top, squinch it between my fingers, make my loop. And you're pretty much gonna guide making them the same size as the other, the other loops that are already there. Cut the tail, I got the ribbon. Oh shoot, and look. I broke the whole thing. <sighs> one of those days. All right, one more. I'm going to finish off with the blue here. Scrunch it in the middle. Do my loop. Do my other loop. I'm twisted. And cut off the tail. Sometimes I like having long tails. Sometimes I'll cut them off. I'll see what it looks like. It is easy. I promise anyone can do this. You could use um, pipe cleaners to tie this off. I like using these plastic cable ties. Ah, getting stuck on the ribbon. Put it around. Start pulling it and then for something like this the arrangement that it's going in I'm gonna put this on I like to fold it in half to make sure that I have the um, the tie in the center 
then I'm going to take a skewer because that's what I'm going to stick into this floral arrangement. So I'm going to stick that in there. Wait, let's see, which way do I want this to go down? This is the longer ties. I want this to go this way. And I'm going to pull the cable tie tight, tight, tight. Cut it off. I'm gonna put some glue on the back so that skewer doesn't move. Let that dry, and here I have the long tails, and I'm gonna look at this to decide where I want this to go. I can't believe I broke that ribbon. I'd like it to go in the front. I think we're gonna have it go right here. So I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of my skewer. And I'm gonna stick this in. I just burnt myself. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. Then I fluff it up. That's when I will cut my tails. So they're not sticking out all crazy. I'm just going to go on an angle rather than a dovetail with this one. And I like that this hangs longer over the side. I could see this out on a back porch. I think because I have yellows and blues and greens on mine. <laughs> this would go very nicely. All right. Just adds a little something something. What do you think? Oh, the trade secrets. You got it. Hey, Kath, how are you? Marie and I were just talking about you. <laughs> I didn't know that you played softball, Kathy. Was that in high school or after? Anyway, I'm showing this piece that I just made. This was a claim it while I make it. If anyone is interested or knows anyone who's interested, please send me a message. This is 75. This is a big one. So you can see all sides. If this doesn't go, if no one claims it, it's going to the store at the end of the week. Oh, I put the ribbon on top of that. 